Investors have been getting creative to find better returns in this low-yield, high-volatility world. Enter Masterworks. The company buys pieces by renowned artists and lets investors purchase shares of them, entering the high-risk, high-reward art world without spending millions. In 2018, Blue Chip Art returned 10 percent compared to the S&P's 5 percent loss. This week, Masterworks added what could be one of the most profitable works of art on its platform, a Banksy, a Mona Lisa you can see there. Joining me now is Masterworks CEO Scott Lynn. And this is interesting. So it's only 20 bucks for me to buy into a piece of artwork, right? Yeah, anyone can invest at $20 a share. Uh, our, our minimum for this particular painting is $1,000. So uh, retail and accredited investors can invest for the first time in these blue chip paintings that are, that are on Masterworks. But you're still small. You only have a couple of paintings right now. Uh, what are your plans? Yeah, th this is our third painting. So we're releasing now more than one painting a month. Um, so we intend to have a very high cadence of these paintings coming to the platform in the future. Um, and then eventually we want to build fun products, release trading markets, uh, do things that would be more typical of other other uh, financial products for this asset class. Sure. So right now there's not a great way for somebody who's not a millionaire uh, to get in on the fine art market. What makes you sure this is going to be a good investment over time? Well, if you, if you just look at the high level dynamics of art overall, um, the blue chip segment of the art market has been outperforming the S&P for over 20 years. Um, the, the challenge, as you said, is the only way you can invest is if you have millions of dollars to buy a painting. So the, the asset class has a solid track record, literally, of, of hundreds of years of, of performing at public auctions. Sotheby's, up until going private recently, was the oldest company on um, the New York Stock Exchange at 275 years old. So it, 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 the asset class has been around forever. It's just people haven't been able to invest in it. I wonder about the timing risk uh, to some extent and about taste changing. So if I buy a piece of a Banksy now, when it goes to market, there's a recession. Uh, that's my liquidity event, right? I mean, the, the share, uh, my return is predicated on what you're able to, to resell that for. Yeah, th there's no question that, that when we talk to investors, we say they need to think about uh, holding their, their investment for between three and seven years, usually on average. So these are today illiquid allocations. We're working to launch trading markets in the future, but we haven't we haven't done that yet. Right, but is it is it one of those things where you say, you know, look, over time the track record is that fine art well outperforms the S&P, but maybe over 30 years that's true, but on any given year it could be a roll of the dice. Yeah, it's not, it's not really true for the blue chip segment. So when we talk about blue chip art, we're really talking about art created by the top 100 most selling artists. So these are people like Warhol, Picasso, Monet, et cetera. If you just look at that segment over time, that is consistently outperformed. Our, our best data goes back to the 1950s. Um, but yeah, that's, that's been a relatively low volatility kind of outperforming asset class. And do you think you're going to be able to get in on some of those big art acquisitions in the future, the Warhols and so forth? Yeah, so our, our very first painting actually was at Warhol, Maryland. Uh, we, we plan to launch a Monet after uh, the Banksy. So we're, we're definitely focused on that blue chip segment. We think that's, that's most investable and most interesting for for a typical investor. Is this a product you'd feel comfortable putting your friends and family into? We, I, I have friends or family in, in, these, uh, in these investments today, but um, you know, we, we try to describe it as an allocation as part of an overall portfolio, right? So if you're allocating three, four, or five percent to art, we, we think that makes sense. You know, it probably doesn't make sense to build 100 percent of a portfolio on art. What happens if someone's listening right now at one of the major shops and goes, yeah, good idea, you know, we're going to do that too? I mean, I, we're, we're kind of surprised that we don't have any competitors today, so Masterworks really is the only one, is the only one doing it, but um, it could happen in the future, and I, I think, you know, you look at art overall, it's a 68 billion dollar market this year, so it's a massive asset class, but it's really just ultra wealthy people trading these $10 million paintings between each other. Well, you're trying to change that. Scott, thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. It's interesting to hear about Scott Lynn is the CEO and founder of Masterworks.